Hi, I'm David M. Bird, and I'm the creator of Bee Corns. When, when I was a kid, I always wanted to create amazing stuff, and I'd look at other artists that I really admired, and they were so good, you know, and I'd look at my own work and I'd get really frustrated by my own work that I couldn't do it. And I think Ira Glass said from This American Life that like that feeling that like, oh my God, I can't do what I want to do is like what motivates you, you know, that's what, what makes you strive to get to the next level. One of the big feelings I had creating art as a kid was like, I'm not good enough. I can't get on the page what I want and it's frustrating, you know, you want to get better. So just knowing that that feeling is kind of a good feeling. It's a motivating feeling. I know the future seems so broad when you're that age and there's so many possibilities. If I were to give advice to myself when I was 13, I think I would encourage my former self to invest more time in gaining knowledge. I think I was very product oriented and I was always, I had an idea of something I wanted to make and I, really worked hard to make that thing instead of putting the time into learning skills. So I love drawing and telling stories through pictures. <laughs> See my notes from the meeting I was in where I was just drawing, drawing. Yeah, I was like to-do items. I was older when I did these. I also love mechanisms and toys seem to me to be the is the best thing I could think of that sort of married those two interests. One of my first jobs out of out of RISD was as a designer for Lego in Denmark. So I worked for Technic and Bionicle. It was really my job at Bionicle that led to Beekorns. Um, Bionicle are six inch action figures that are made of these abstract parts. And what I learned is, is that kids are really drawn to characters that kind of tell a story. They have either props that suggest a way of playing with them. I really got a sense of like what kids were drawn to in in these figures. So I worked at Lego for about four and a half years. After I left, I moved back to America and I got a job designing medical equipment. Uh, that's what I went to school for. I should, you know, give it a shot. So I was sweeping my mom's driveway thinking like, oh man, my job at Lego is so great. Like, am I ever going to find such a great job? And then I looked down at my feet at this pile of acorns and sticks. It suddenly hit me. Oh my God, everything I did at Lego, I can do with acorns and sticks and, you know, leaves. I started posting my pictures of beacorns in 2019 and slowly gathered a following. I'd pick up a couple followers uh, with each post. Then after about two years of that, all of a sudden the algorithm suddenly started sharing my work a lot more. I think part of the reason I grew so fast was because I had been posting for two years. So there was a lot of content for people to go back and read through. One thing that I really enjoy is shooting the beacorns with animals. To do that, I usually use bird seed or, uh, you know, whatever, whatever I can think of to entice the animals. A lot of times I'll go online and do some research to figure out like the best way to entice an animal to your yard. If you get frustrated because you can't quite get it out, learn how to do it. Just keep trying. Just keep learning, gaining knowledge, and uh, follow your passion. <laughs>